Introducing e-commerce with Quantic for restaurants. Welcome to my online ordering page. You can see here that I've got the option for both takeout as well as delivery. Additionally, you can see that this image here in the background is something that can also be customized. You can also decide whether or not you want to do takeout and or delivery. Let's go ahead and start an order with takeout. Now that I'm in my menu page, you can see here I've got my location information as well as another image that can be customized. You can also see up here that if I have a store logo, that'll appear as well. Now that I scroll down, you can see my menu information. Now this is the same menu that I have in my point of sale, but you do have options for customization. For example, I can make certain items available for online. I can have them have different pricing or even give them their own custom description. Now let's go ahead and put in a burger. All right. Now the burger is gonna come with a side. Let's go ahead and do a side salad. Now, because I selected a side salad, it's going to reveal the subcategory. And now I need to select a dressing, let's say ranch. All right, next I need to select a meat temperature so that they know how I want it cooked. We're in the same medium. And then if I wanna add any toppings. So today I wanna to add mushrooms. Now, if I wanted to, I could add a custom note that says, toast the buns or mayo on the side. But for today, that's all I need. Add to basket. Now, if I was all done at this point in time, I could just go through and hit continue, or I could go back here and add additional items. Now, today we're gonna say we're all done. Here, if I did have a discount code, I could apply that. These discount codes are the same codes that are used with your discounts in the point of sale. So for example, if you posted something on your social media that says, hey, use our discount code Friday 10 to get 10% off of your order as a way to direct traffic to your e-commerce. Otherwise, you can see that I do have my tax information here. And if I wanna add any custom notes, for example, I could say, please leave the mushrooms on the side and then hit continue. Now at this point in time, the system wants to know, do I already have an account with this location? If I do, then I can just log in with that. Or if I don't, I can become a customer. Now, the nice thing about this is if you're doing something like loyalty, then it's going to continue to accrue points if I sign in as myself. Otherwise, if I'm not concerned about being a customer within the account, I can just check out as a guest. So for example, I say Dana, say this is my email, my mobile phone number, and then when do I want to pick up this item? Now I could say, hey, I wanna pick it up as soon as possible, or I could select a later date or time. We're gonna say this is gonna be for lunch and I'm ahead of the game. So we're gonna say it's gonna be 1 p.m. And now I hit continue. All right, now currently this account is set up with online payments only. However, you do have the ability to do cash on delivery as an option. Now I'll need to add in my billing address here you can see I can also put in a tip. These tips are customized options, meaning here the account set was set up for $5, 10%, or 20%. But you could add whatever combination you would like. Alternatively, I can also do a custom tip. You can also see here on the right hand side, it's gonna give me a breakdown of my order. So here's the item, the burger I'm gonna get, the subtotal, the tax. This account is also utilizing something called dual pricing, which means that if you pay in card, you're gonna pay the card price of the catalog instead of the cash price. And here's my total amount. Now I mentioned earlier, I can apply a discount code. Also, if I have a physical or digital gift card, I can put that information in here and use that in the online order. Once I put in my credit card information and complete the transaction, then the POS is gonna receive the notification. The order is gonna populate in the service area screen, a notification is going to appear on the device, and the order is gonna automatically print to the printers if those items are assigned to those printers. And then lastly, the email address associated with the account will receive an email saying that Dana put in an order for a cheddar burger. And that is online ordering with e-commerce and Quantic for restaurants.